Oh. Hi, I'm Dakota. I am fully out of shape. Since the start of quarantine and before, I've been getting very little exercise because I'm a human piece of garbage. So starting today, I am going to change that. For the next 30 days, I'm going to be doing 100 burpees a day. Thankfully, I don't have to do this alone. I'm gonna be joined by my friend Jasmine, who has agreed to do this along with me. Thank you so much, Jasmine. Yeah, I don't know why I'm doing this. I do kind of regret it. <laughs> overall a very athletic person but lately in quarantine I've just been a middle-aged Korean woman standing in front of her TV doing aerobics while watching Korean dramas. Do I like burpees? No. My knees don't like it, my ankles don't like it, my wrists don't like it, but uh, I want to look cute. Wow, I never thought I'd be taking my clothes off in a video. At least not this kind of video. So here is my body. I'm definitely in a physical condition. It's not so bad, but it can get better. It's day one. I change into my workout clothes, and we're gonna just see how many burpees I can do. A burpee is a combination of a jump, a squat, a plank, and a push-up, so it really targets a lot of your body. <laughs> Why did I agree to this? <laughs> Does my butt look better yet? I'm pretty excited to do this next set of 100 burpees. I don't know why I said that. I'm not that excited to do the 100 burpees. <laughs> It is the morning of day three. My abs hurt. I asked Dakota if we get recovery days for this challenge, and he laughed. I think that's a no. I really don't want to do the burpees today. I actually purposely stayed in bed longer just so I could delay the day. So week one is officially over. Learned that mindset was of the utmost importance when starting your burpees. Hi, it's week two and I've gained four pounds. <laughs> These burpees make me so hungry. I have not been doing the push-ups with the burpees because I don't have a lot of arm strength. So starting today, I'm gonna start trying to incorporate push-ups. One thing I've noticed is that I'm also sort of now thinking a little bit more about the rest of my day while I'm doing this exercise. I think it's reminding me that like, yeah, my health is important and that sure, doing burpees is healthy, but it's only one aspect of like a healthy lifestyle. I really didn't want to do them today, so I came to terms with skipping today. And then George, my boyfriend was like, no, I'll do it with you. You don't need to skip. Anyway, he did it with me and now he's dying on the floor, so. So Jasmine and I have a call right now with a personal trainer who's going to watch us do a burpee and give us comments on our form and then teach us how to properly do a burpee. Hello everyone, my name is Kiana Vestudo. I am an ACE certified personal trainer based in Los Angeles, California. Today I'm going to show you how to do a burpee. Essentially, burpee is a full body movement. It works your lower body, it works your upper body, it works your core. It gets your cardiovascular system working. When done properly and with proper form, it is a super, super effective movement. Should we show you how we've been doing our burpees and then you can like tell us what we're doing wrong? That's actually really good, Dakota. Your feet were like almost, almost close together. Spread those feet a little bit wider, kind of like shoulder width apart. Squat down, almost place those hands right inside of those, those feet. Okay. And then you're gonna jump out from there. No major corrections for you though, Jasmine. Try to shift those weights in your heels, trying not to jump those feet in on those toes. So shifting those weights in those heels and lifting that chest, jumping to the top. So go crush these burpees, I believe in you. I've thought long and hard about it. I've decided I'm not doing my burpees today. I love myself. Happy birthday to me. Goodbye. So I failed today and I only did 50 burpees. Tomorrow, I'm going to do all of them. I'm not gonna fail, and I'm not gonna fail again for the rest of the month. It's week three! After yesterday, I got really bad back pain, and I think just taking it easy today with all half push-ups will set me up better for the, for the rest of the week.
really won't stop hurting and I'm pretty sure I'm doing something wrong. I think I need to take today off. So I feel like I've sort of reached a point of plateau. I feel like I sort of stopped improving and now things seem to just be getting harder. Yesterday was a sad day because I skipped my burpees again. I couldn't even sit myself up to get out of bed. Today, the back pain has not completely dissipated, but it does feel a lot better. I've enlisted my mother to try and do some burpees with me today. Jump, squat, back, push up. I just woke up. My back is killing me. I have to skip today's burpees. I'm so mad because it's not every day where you enter a workout challenge and you're mentally in and physically in. And this is like one of the very few times where I felt like I was both super in. So I buy this back stretcher. I just really want to be able to do some more burpees before this challenge ends. I'm gonna try this out. My back feels a lot better today. I think I'm gonna try doing push-ups on the wall. I know today's burpees weren't exactly burpees and they were really severe modifications, but honestly, getting into some sort of exercise routine again feels much better than doing nothing. So this is it. Today is finally my last day of doing burpees. I cannot believe that I've done close to 3,000 of these in the last month. This is my last burpee for the, for the month. Oh, it's gonna be the best burpee I've ever done. Oh. Yes, 100! I need to sleep for a year. When I first said I would do this challenge, I was really hopeful and determined and optimistic. I just wanted it to be a happy story. I can't control what happened during this journey and the only thing I'm disappointed about is the satisfaction of the before and after, right? So when I first started all of this, I had people from flat earther groups reaching out to me asking if they could use my ass as their logo. I have some sort of curve on my butt, which is nice. I don't think I'm gonna continue doing 100 burpees a day because I don't think that is like humanly possible anymore. So maybe instead I'll do my usual thing and implement burpees with correct form slowly. I cannot believe I'm finally done. I don't feel like I look particularly different, but I definitely feel a little bit different. I feel a lot stronger. My roommate and I moved over the weekend, up and down five flights of stairs, lots of furniture, boxes, and he's been complaining about soreness in his legs and I haven't noticed any of that soreness. I think because of this overall that I am definitely going to continue putting a little bit more exercise and thought into my lifestyle choices. So I would call this a success.